right, YouTubers, we're going to take a look at this 43-inch Samsung 4K TV. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it for gaming, and that's pretty much what this is about. We'll uh, we'll put some video in here so you can see it. Now I've had this for uh, two weeks now. It has been my sole monitor here in the hotel room in Hawaii. We've gotten pretty familiar with it, and uh, some things I like about it, some things I don't. Uh, I have had a couple instances where it's locked up and needed to be completely rebooted. Other times, the brightness has dimmed on its own. Uh, I don't know if it's some setting in there doing that, or that it is a possible defect with the TV. Overall, though, uh, it, looks, it looks decent for 4K TV. If I were to choose this, choose between this and my TCL 43-inch back home, I would take the TCL. So, let's go ahead and look at a couple things in the menu that matter. Alright, so inside of the picture menu, there is no um, gaming picture mode it's probably uh, dynamic is probably going to be possibly the best thing for that under expert settings there is an auto motion plus setting in here this is uh, set to auto uh, that can be adjusted and possibly uh, improved for gaming. Pretty much leaving all the stuff uh, defaulted. So let's go ahead and back out and I'm going to get a game going. Alright, so we have um, Doom Eternal here running 4K. Ultra Nightmare, which is the highest settings. So I'll just give you a little idea what this looks like in here. I don't think I can jump that, folks. So it's the TV itself is obviously 60 hertz, and you can kind of see some of those kind of issues. Oops. I do not see anything I can jump to. 4's the Horizon 4 is the game. Set to 4K Ultra. Computer we're using is a uh, i7-9700F with an RTX 2070 Super. Frame rates are higher than the uh, the screen refresh and basically they're in the uh, low to low 80s to low 90s Now obviously out of this video footage you don't necessarily get a feel for um, any kind of lag there might be and that's kind of a hard uh, thing to really tell you. So we don't really uh, necessarily get a good idea what the lag is for uh, this game showing a benchmark but uh, at least it does show you a little bit about what the uh, the game looked like. So one thing we have to change quite often it seems is uh, in the settings let me back up under uh, display advanced display settings and then inside here display adapter properties 
Um, a lot of times, sorry, this all modes. A lot of times this wants to default to 30 hertz, and so I've changed it to 60. We'll see if that improves anything. Hope the Fortnite will pop up. All right, folks, we are going uh, Fortnite 4K Epic, and um, in a moment I'll turn on MSI Afterburner after all the uh, portions of this game that we really don't want to get a good idea uh, of what the FPS average is, right? So some of these screens will screw up uh, the average. I just want to basically do it from the bus all the way to the point that I get killed in the game. So. We'll pause for now. All right, so I just turned on MSI Afterburner, and uh, we're gonna get some action going here. So if you look in the um, upper left corner of the screen, second line from the bottom, uh, it shows FPS average is uh, right now 49 FPS. And we are recording 4K Ultra, or playing 4K Ultra, and I'm using a camera to uh, record this. Looks like all the Star Wars stuff's gone. So right now we're uh, averaging 48 FPS. Um, gameplay is actually, you know, relatively smooth, all things considering. It's not dropping any uh, not really dropping any frame rates. Obviously, uh, if I bump this up, it'd be that much better. But uh, it is what it is, right? All right, let's get rid of something here.
Maybe so. So realistically, I want I want my bandage gun. 